Total War. Have her they can't eat a mod, playing as the Romans. Who else? With a scream like that, you should be able to guess. Right, the situation is that the last episode was about an hour long. Um, I'm going to try and make this one a bit shorter. That does depend on what the enemy's doing. Um, so we did have a massive battle, two battles in fact, right here at Larissa, and we have claimed the settlement. The Greek forces in southern Greece, if all of them are combined, might, might just make up a full stack. Now let's activate our scripts. We have troops here building up on this navy. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of some of these Greek ships. We don't want them interfering in our invasion. Right, you can get back into port. We need to fill you up with troops. And we have a general here. Flavius Licinius. He's 34. And he's a good general. And I'm going to send his whole force onto the ship. Okay, we're not going to get all of them. Right. There he is. We can get him over here and send him after the Greeks. Get you into there. Some units out of here, build them up. Keep recruiting. Uh, looks like we get a discount on units here. We need more units. Just more, 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 and more. Overwhelm those Greeks with numbers. That must be an armor upgrade, I would imagine. Right, we've got an army up here. Let's try to get around them and put some pressure on them by attacking their settlements. Look, there's a horse. Right there, horses, a valuable trade resource. Ah, uh, doesn't she look cute? Right, you're not ready to upgrade yet. Palantia, you're still not very happy with us. You're getting ready to upgrade. And you're still going to be a while before you upgrade. Now, what's the diplomatic scene looking like? So we're at war with... Um, no, we're allied to the Egyptians and the Macedonians. And the Britons are allied to Carthage. Hmm, interesting. Because in my Carthaginian campaign, I'm at war with them. Are the Germans still around? Let's see if they are. Stosids. Where are you Germans? Oh, I don't see them. Sabia, Thrace, Scythians, Numidia, Greeks, Dacians. Britons, Pontus, Arthurs. Nope, the Germans, although it does show them up here, must have been wiped out by somebody. Perhaps a combination of Dacia and the Britons. Alright. Dacia. You're allied to Mastodon Carthage, you're not at war with anyone. 
All right, interesting. So we need to now break the siege at Vienna. That's not the Austrian Vienna, which would be right over here. And we see what's in their army. Barbarian cavalry and a lot of it. Right, they've got just under a thousand, three units of barbarian cavalry and the chariot bodyguard. Other than that, they're not that powerful. We can get you over to there, so you should come into any battle. You can't reach them. You come in there. We send all of you. Ah. Are you going to come in to battle? Can't move you any closer, can we? Nope. You might now come into the battle. It's going to be very close. Let's get all of our troops moving and our recruitment because I think we'll end a turn after we fight this battle. I'm going to go ahead and recruit a general. I want my troops to be led by a general over here. I'm going to get some artillery. getting any unit discounts over here except in a couple of cities right that's all of the recruitment done over here let's see if we can draw this force in yep and that's why they ran away fine by me we could still do some upgrading of our military facilities here. We'll see how much money we have left after we finish the turn. Uh, we do have a spy down here somewhere. Where did we put him? There he is, in Athens. As we can see, all of these settlements down here have very large garrisons, uh, populations. Are we going to order resolve here? Yep. Right, they're not very happy with us. We can't really... Well, I mean, we're going to have to... That's probably not helping much, but that may be enough to keep them under control. They really didn't have a very big population there to begin with, did they? Right, so we've got General here. Um, we have just been beaten up here. Let's go ahead and merge these units up. You've got room for five units. Merge those up. There's a couple more units in there. Right. And we'll just disband you right there. Right. Let's lower your taxes. Still only gives you 3.5% growth each turn. There's a Greek army out here, but it's not that powerful. Now that we've pushed the Greeks away from northern Italy, we should try to push out from there as well. So just having all these forces garrisoning. But we're going to need another general, I think. And we don't appear to have any extras. 
and in our family tree we have a lot of daughters who don't have husbands. Same here. It's going to be a few turns, but you're going to come of age. Um, same there. Same there. Nobody's going to come of age real soon. Maybe some of these daughters will get a marriage proposal. Ah, I can see a ship down there in Croton. Must have left them there by accident. Okay, you got trapped in the zone of control. Legendary Admiral, good for you. Yep, we got another family member. So we've got 36,000 plus. We're just doing some retraining down here. Clean out those Greek ships. And our construction. Let's upgrade your mines. So you can even get some more money. Now let's go and um, attack some of these British settlements. That only has a stockade. So forces in there. Uh, I don't like order resolving against chariots. You get some very weird things happening. We'll send some units up there. And we did get a general. There he is at Dariotium. Let's see if he's any good. General Sineas Mamea. Ah, two command stars already. 22 years old. I'm going to recruit another one. I'm going to put him in there because there's a full army of Britons coming your way. Although you do have a lot of um, barbarian mercenaries in there. Alright, see if these Greeks want to fight. Alright. Oh, that's their new faction leader, Marcus the Handsome. He's 40 years old. He has a lot of command stars. Thymoteus. Oh, they got um, Thessalonica and Heavy Kev. Right, not really any missile troops. Well, they are. And so are they. Let's go in and fight them. See if we can kill them. Because that's what we do. Looking back on the start of the campaign, I believe I should have gone straight for Greece and left the barbarian Gauls behind to play in their mud huts. The Greeks have by far been the tougher enemy. Right. We do in fact have our stone throwing artillery and that has performed very well in my Carthaginian campaign. It's 
been very good at killing off enemy elephants. Not sure how well it will do here against the Greeks, but we'll find out. Start the battle. There's the enemy over there. We are attacking them, so we will have to move up. That's a pretty steep hill. Go ahead and fire at them, see if you can actually move. We'll put our triarii over here. There's a good position for our archers. And we'll just speed everything up. The enemy may just run away. They may seek a better position. On the battlefield, or well, they may not. So that's their faction leader, their king. As if the Greeks would ever have a king. Although some of them did at some point. Let's speed it up even more. Okay, we are, or it looked like, we were in position to fire on them. We can hit their front ranks, but let's actually use our ammunition to fire at their general. Alright, slow it back down to normal. I think we managed to actually hit him. You should be running. Alright, Triarii, come and defend over on that flank. They can just sit there and get shot at, for all I care. Looks like some of them might come forwards. Bet if we hit one of their generals, they'll come after us. It's not the most accurate artillery ever, but it will get the job done if it hits you. I think our most accurate artillery has been the Scorpions. Right, there's somebody. Some Thorakitai. Look like they want to cause some trouble. Ah, that's the one I want to shoot at. It's their Thessalian cavalry. We really need to move forward with the artillery. I'm sure that we're close enough. Right. Somebody's getting stuck in. Right, we use up all of the ammunition. Come forwards, that's a better position.
Oh, there's some pretty steep um, mountains there. Ooh, getting vertigo. Right. Now you're within range. General, come and give uh, some morale support. Right. They should be coming within range fairly soon. Go ahead and charge there, General. See if he really enjoys that. And the other general has pulled back. How disappointing. Yep, he's gone in for a charge. Stop there. Stop there. Alright, counter charge their Thessalians. Where is he? There he is. Keep on moving forwards. Right, we've got him pinned down by our spearman. Shoot him. Ah, they managed to break our Triarii. That was unexpected. Yeah, keep firing on him. Come on, you can break them. Right, go ahead and hit them in the rear. Come over here and give some support to our general. Yep. Yep. Good. Well, he might. You never know. Where's the other one? There. Go after him. Yep, he's dead. I think you can stop firing now. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. And you can probably stop firing as well. You triarii, you didn't do great. Disappointed didn't you? Never mind, you'll get your chance of redemption. But I think we killed off their whole army. Very close. Them. 
you may as well stop running. Same with you. And speed it up. Right, clear victory. Two of them escaped. So our army is pretty much intact. Uh, we can gather reinforcements from Larissa and Pella if we really need to. Or even some mercenaries. Although I think the Greeks have gathered all the mercenaries up. Um, we'll put those in later. Because we're trying to get Pella up to huge city status. Right, that's where we're going to leave this episode. So until next time, thank you for all the likes, the comments, the uh, subscribers and the views. Take care.